Former World Chess Champion Magnus Carlsen becomes the second player after Hikaru Nakamura to score a perfect 11 out of 11 at chess.com titled Tuesday. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we will take a quick look at the blitz game played during that same titled Tuesday which Carlsen won with a perfect score. American chess grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura is on the white side and the hero of this tournament Magnus Carlsen is black. Nakamura opened up with e4 to which Carlsen answered with a6. This is the so-called St. George defense. Garp of Anthony Miles games comes to my mind, which Miles won by playing a6 against Karpov himself. And this is a move which Carson played in all his games during the title Tuesday when playing with the black pieces, no matter what was White's first move. There were games when he even started with a3, when playing with the white pieces. Anyways, let's take a look how are the events going to unfold. Of course, this is an opening which leads to very offbeat positions, very strange looking positions. And looks like that we are reaching a position which somewhat reminds me of con defense, although this white pawn is already absent. Queen g4. Hitting on e4, on g7, d5, queen takes g7, rook f8, bishop takes c5, queen takes c5, knight e3, queen b6, rook b1 protecting the pawn, knight c6, bishop d3. Uh, all in all we have an equal game, nothing special. Takes, takes, queen f6. Queen d8. Uh, the amazing thing is that even by playing a6, uh, Carlsen can uh, equalize the game very quickly. And then Carlsen is starting to make use of his pawns. In return, this white knight is hurrying towards the d6 square, but even that won't give white much. Queen f6, finally, knight d6 check lands, king e7. Knight d6 looks tempting, but Stockfish says that better was trying to consolidate the position. Rook d1, knight e2, thinking about castling. Okay, knight d6 is tempting, of course, from a human point of view. What if knight takes b7? Then knight e5 is coming and knight d3 threat hangs in the air, right? If knight c5, then bishop b5. Black is suddenly starting to activate his pieces. Okay, knight goes back to c4, e5, and now this avalanche of pawns is starting to roll down, and Black is just doing great, guys. Black is just doing great. Carson will now... Oh, f3 is another dubious move. Better was playing knight e2, rook d1. Instead we have f3, which is allowing uh, black pawns to step forward, moreover this is weakening the king side too much. And if g takes f3, then queen h4 check is coming, and then bishop takes c4. Yeah, this is a destruction, guys. White's position is falling apart. That's why we have knight g3, but f takes g2. What a massacre, what a massacre, guys. It's Carlsen on the black side, and look what he's doing with Hikaru Nakamura. Against such a strong blitz player, knight d6, rook d8, rook d1, queen f4, knight e4, and with his next move, black forced the resignation. Can you find black's next move? Rook takes d6, landed, guys. White resigned. If queen takes d6, then the e3 square is no longer covered. Queen e3 is a checkmate. If knight takes d6, then f2 check. Bishop g4 check. Yeah, again, black is winning. If rook d6, then queen takes e4, f2. It's over. Over. That's why after an exchange sacrifice, white resigned. What a great way of making use of the pawns. In the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the black pieces. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.